strong. Peace, Parker. Together we are the, the Battle, Battle Hammer. Hammer. We're almost getting good at this. Yay! So here we go for part three. Part, of the, part three of some. Part three of some for we Wild, 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 wild Exodus. West Exodus. So part one, we went through the anatomy of a card. Mm. There was a front and a back. And some words on it. And some edging as well. There's yes, and some nice artwork. Some lovely artwork. Part two was what happens in a turn. Yep. There's some hooing and some hawing and some yee and some shooting. Yeah. And some rooting and tooting good timing. Yee. Allegedly. That's all very well and good. But. but how do you make a posse? Well, you go, we need to go get that engine. Don't you just get some points and add all the points up together? No. You've got to go, oh, I've got to get myself a posse. And you round up all your mates and you jump on your horses and you go right after the varmint. Yeah. See? Thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> Yeehaw. No. Yeah. You're a deputy. You're a deputy. Everyone's, Everyone's a deputy. deputy. Yeah, da, 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 da. No, that's not the way you do it, is it? So a posse... So you... There's the force, which is your effectively your army, if you like. They don't call them an army because they're not an army. I find your lack of faith most disturbing. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and then within that, within the force, you may build a posse. So a posse will take a, a boss. So oh, suppose you want this one. Yeah. Okay. So here's a, a posse building card, right? And that'll be here-ish. So you, Ooh, you've got your, your chamber of your, of your pistol. Oh, I up. like that. They've used it for this as well. Yeah. That's money's worth, isn't it? So you've got your boss slot. So in this case, let's say that's white up. Okay, so I'll get me other cards here. Give me a bit more. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. Because you, you can see that there, but I'll do the stuff here. Right, so you want white up. There we be. He's my boss. There we go. So he is 275 points, and he goes in your boss slot. So he's right in the middle. Bosh, job done. So that's the boss of the posse. So then you need to fill this, this space around it. So then you go from slot one through to slot six. And you can, if you want to fill slot three, you have to fill slot one and two. You can't just fill slot six on its own. So can we put whatever we damn well want in these slots? Well, it will say oh. on, the other part of the, uh, on the other part of the card. Well, that's handy. So isn't slot it? one there. Relates to this number one here. Okay. So you can put up to two Lawman face units. Okay, so let me have a little look see here. So for Lawman face units is going to be. Uh, well, it's going to be old Doc Holiday, isn't it? There you go. So Doc Holiday can go. So if you had enough, you could. He's 175 points. So that's now the 450 points so far. Eek. Um. You could put another Lawman face unit in there. If I had. If you had If I wanted to. I don't you, have to. Or you could ignore it and go straight to two. Oh, what's in two? So two, slot two, release the slot two here. A Lawman face unit and or a Lawman hands unit or a Lawman support unit. Well, in that case, what I'll do is I've got a hands unit, which is an attack dogs. There we go. So that has now filled that space with the Lawman hands there. Yep. So it's one or the other. So in the in the case of the hands or support, that's an or, but you could still squeeze another face unit in there as well if you wanted to. So you can have a lawman face unit and or a lawman hands unit or a lawman support unit. Mm. So you could put any one of those three things or a combination of a face and a hands and or support. Mm. So there's a lot of different ways of building that. So if you you may well want to squeeze another boss into the unit and start another posse. Or you may want to fill his up with all of the stuff. And and really the goodness. So then we go to slot three, because we filled slot one and two. So you can have a Lawman face unit and or a Lawman's hand or support. Well, so this time I've one. got a support one, so I'll have the gun dogs. There we go. Boom. 60 points. Now this is a unit, so you can have as up many as it will say on the card. Six. One to six, so you can have up to one from one to six on that unit. Same with this one. Same with that one. One to six. There we go. So then we go to slot four, and depending on how many points you've got so far, you may want to stop there and start another posse with a different boss, or you may want to carry on and do more face and hands units or support units. So now, so what this kind of implies is that now straws filled up slots one to three, 
four and five, I can't squeeze the support in. So oh, you know, you'd have to I've fill these to spaces to, six. to get another so, support. Yeah. Or you may want to reorganise it and say, well, in slot two, I want to support instead of that hands unit. So I may go want another unit of gun dogs. And then I can put number four as being the attack dogs. Yeah. So there's a lot of ways you can manoeuvre things and go, well, actually, I want to build it like this. I want to really focus on your yeah. on your heroes, say, and your faces. So you could go two faces in the first slot, a face in the second, a face in the third, face in the fourth, face in the fifth, face in the sixth. So then you've got... What? Seven people. Yeah, seven but... people, but they're all heroes. And more importantly, what the heroes bring to a game? Prizes. Fortune. You'd have a whole load of fortune counters, yeah, wouldn't you? Totally, loads of stuff. And it's like, interesting because the only other one you get for the, in the starting set is a support. Yeah, there's a bike dude. Which is a bike dude. So again, what you could do is maybe you don't want to have lots of faces and dudes. So you go, well, I'll just have one face to fill this slot up. And that's Doc. Yeah. And then I can go like hands unit or so support, support unit. So hands unit, hands unit, support unit. Yeah. So you've only got like white up as the boss slot. You then got a face unit to fill that space because you have to have one mm -hmm. because that's his, like his bod, his dude, his mate, his minion. And then you can fill the rest up with hands and support because those are the things you could potentially put in that. Yeah. In that space. Add up the points. I think a, a standard game is, is uh, 1,500 points, but of course, depending on who you're playing against and how many points you agree to is the amount of points you can spend. Yeah. But that's kind of how that card works. There. <coughs> Interestingly, these cards tend to be double-sided. So, what? you've got a Lawman Faction Posse, which is a, a standard Lawman way of doing things. So all of your Lawman Posses will be organised like that. However, on the other side, on the flip side, it's the tomb Tombstone Themed Posse. So oh, I like the idea of that. It's just nice, isn't it? Yeah. This to this. So most of, if not all of the bosses, have a themed posse. And they will do, they will organise themselves slightly differently, but they may have bonuses. Or sometimes the bonus is just the ability to take that other unit a lot of times. So don't always look for a bonus. But in this case, the bonus is faces and bosses have the teamwork skill. Ooh. Teamwork allows you to um, activate, like string activate. So I could have an activation, I could do a thing. Ah, that's it, yeah. And then he could immediately activate rather than handing my activation to my opponent. So yeah. you could do two or three activations in a row. Ooh. Really, really useful. But as you can see, you've got a Lawman tombstone face. So tombstone would be the keyword, so you'd have to have a dude with that. So you're talking. Unsurprisingly, people like Doc Holliday, people like Morgan Earp, or the other Earps. Any of the Earps. Any of the many Earps. Aren't some of the, aren't the, uh, There are other ones. The, the, the uh, robot blokey thingy jigs, aren't the Tim Men, aren't they? The, I, the, the, I don't remember. I can't remember either. But there are other two, <sighs> they will have the tombstone keyword, so you would have to pick those. So you can just pick any old face. Again, Lawman Tombstone face. Lawman Tombstone face. So you're really focusing on the faces. Yeah, so that's like four people. And then you can get a little uh, a hands unit if you want to. And again, the Lawman Tombstone boss unit. Now, why is that interesting? Because you normally couldn't take a boss as part of a, a posse. Because you've already got your boss slot filled. But Morgan Earp is a Tombstone boss. So you can put him in there. And then you can get a face and support unit. So If Morgan's in there, then yeah, you've got the, the law bots. Yeah. Must be Tombstone. Must be. So then you've got your Lawman support unit. So in this case, you've only got one ability to get a support unit, and it's your last slot to fill. So you've got to fill all the others before you get there. So, so if you want those gun dogs, yeah, you've got to get a load of people in. You've got to get the faces in first. Because that's how the theme would would fill out. Um, Same with this. This was the uh, the bad guy one. We'll, we'll just go through that as well. I so they prefer can, the term well, not bad guys. Bad guys. So yeah. it's outlaws. They're bad guys. So same sort of thing. So this is the generic outlaw faction. So again, you've got like the face unit and the hands unit. Support, support, face or hands, face or hands. I think it's very similar, if not the same as the three match base one. But then if you flip it, flip it. Honor amongst thieves. Posse. Um, so if all, so here's the thing. If all slots are filled with at least one unit, Jesse James and all faces gain the Prodigious skill. 
which means when they focus, they get a plus three instead of a plus two. Both really, really nice. Oh, that's fucking horrible. So your first slot is Frank James. I mean, that's very specific. So it's Frank it's James. It's Frank James. Or an outlaw mercenary hands unit. And then that allows you to take all of these different things. But again, you've got to fill slot one before slot two, before slot three, before slot four, and so on. So and you don't get support until five. Indeedy. So you're 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 kind of not hamstringing yourself, but you're stopping yourself from using a lot of support. And but you are making everybody else awesome. Yeah. Uh, another thing you can do, if you wanted to because of the way posses work. So this is how a posse is built. That's not how a force is built. That's just how that how you build that posse. So right. buy, you buy a boss yeah. for the points, you start with slot one, you work your way around. Mm -hmm. Now let's say I've spent 700 points out of, you know, I've got him, I've got three slots, and I've spent 700 points. I want to buy more stuff. Well, I can start with another boss and buy another posse and add that to it within the same faction. So... I've got, as an enlightened player, I tend to use Countess Augusta Byron because she's freaking awesome. Um, I love her a lot. If he remembers to use it correctly. If I remember to use it correctly, yeah. But then maybe I want to really focus on lots of hands, but then well, hands at the start and then the last three slots are all faces. Well, actually, I want more hands. So then maybe I'll buy a second boss and expand the posse that way. Mm. Or expand the force by having a second boss. We haven't got around to doing that because no. I, 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 I feel like my... That's a gun, man. I've got a fucking bullet in all them chambers. And got of course, it. as we've seen here, if all, slicks, if all six slots are filled, so you have to fill all of these to get the bonus. Mm. That's not the case on every time, but it is in this case. Yeah. And as I said, these are just these two cards that you get in the actual in the game. Start set, yeah. Um, but... If you go onto the website, there are others. Yep. There's um, Wild Bill. You get him. I think for the for the first one there, you get you can put Grace Myrtle. Yeah, or a hands unit or something like that. But again, it's all filling up them slots. And they theme the you know you can do the generic version, which is like your Norman version or your Outlaws version. But you can also do your themed posses. Um, which probably will give you a bonus, if not a bonus, then at least access to things that you wouldn't otherwise have access to. So the, um, oh, what's his name? Bert, Bob, Bill. Bill. Hey! Bill, Bob Bill Hickok has, he's got a focus on the experienced rangers rather than deputies. That's his kind of focus on his themed posse. Guess who I've just painted up? Oh, well, old um, crazy William. And Grace. Oh, nice. <laughs> Basically, all of my, um, any of my West Wexler stuff now is painted. Moist. So when we get it on that table, ye fucking heart, it's going to look super sexy. <coughs> so there you go. That's basically how you build a posse. Pretty much how you build a posse, yeah. What we'll do is we will play, I think, Wednesday, so our next film and day. So what we'll do is, Wednesday. is we will work, Wexler's Wednesday. We will work out our force, and what we'll do is we'll have a start point of the video where we'll just say right here's how we spent our points this is yep. what we got so we'll do a little bit like that we'll say right here's my 1500 points i've done this boss here blah 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 blah, and we'll work through so you can see what we've chosen and maybe a little bit of why we've chosen it mm -hmm. um and i like the way you, you know, your options are there you haven't got to go through 18 different fucking books to work out no. what you need yeah it's all there and the points are on your card the only time you upgrade your points is if you take a special weapon. So, speaking of which, should we show them oh, yeah. the card? I think we showed them it before, but if we show them it again... Is it this one? Yeah, either or of those. Yeah. So, some of the uh, some of the dudes, dudes have got special issue weapons. It will say on their unit card if they've got access to it. Uh, I don't know if any of these have... Oh, I don't think they do, because they'll be on the hands cards. Well, they might be on the gun dogs. Gun dogs? Uh, oh yeah, the gun dogs will, won't they? Yeah. So it comes with a Gatling gun, but on the back it says special issue. This Any model in this unit may replace a ranged weapon with a weapon from the special issue section of their faction armoury at the indicated points cost. So there's the faction armoury. Special issue. You could give a gun dog, for example, a chase sniper rifle, which is a rifle, and it, here's the stats for it, and that's how much it costs. 
Simple as that. So you add 15 points on to your standard point of a gun dog, which is 60. So it becomes 75, and then he's got a sniper rifle, which would does those things. Or you can give it electric carbine, electro net launcher, wow, flamethrower, <laughs> grenade launcher, Liberty Gatling gun, <laughs> volcanic shotgun, or thermite grenades. Yike. And again, you don't need to go through a book because they're on this card. Yeah. And you will have a card for your faction. Yep. Which, if they're not available at the time of recording, they are print outable if they're not available to buy yet. Yep, you can just download them. And the other side... Um, it's the informational uh, mounts. Yeah, which was, uh, I think, the first video we talked about Wyatt Earp and how he's got Wrangler. Yeah, he's got Wrangler. So he's 275 points on his own. If you wanted to give him an interceptor, that makes him 45 points more and then tells you what it does. So yeah, it but doesn't he... You lose your main weapon, though, don't you? I don't know. It will say on the Wrangler. But, uh, on the it does. The it does. I shall have a quick look. Uh, this unit may be upgraded to ride any one of the mount choice from the mount section of the faction armory. If it if it does so, it gains the mounted trait, but loses the quick and the dead special rule. Uh, should this mounted model fail a grip check, the fail grip check is ignored, and the model instead loses its, its mount. Oh, nice. Um, along with associated weapons, traits, and special rules. Yeah. So, so no, he still has his pistol then. So, Straw's got him, um, as, as far as I can remember, he's got him on an interceptor because you I've him. I've done a little conversion, yes. I, uh, I suppose that should be shown that one, shouldn't we? So, while mounted, the model gains twin hyper velocity rifles, the stats <laughs> of which are here, has a quickness of nine and a rapid special rule. So. <laughs> It tells you on this card what they do when they're on that thing. So you don't need a book. I mean, obviously get the book because you need the book for the rules. You don't need a codex, for want of a better word, an army book. So like you get a normal bike guy. Okay, as you can see, that's a normal chap on an interceptor. This is a support choice. Vroom vroom. Vroom vroom. I love them. You do love them a lot, don't you? I, I, yeah, I do. But there wasn't one for Wyatt. You've got the standard kneeling down figure, which everybody knows, everybody loves. But I want him on a bike. So I had to do a little bit of jiggery, pokery, blue tacky magic. And hacked the buggery out of it. But there he is, pew pew. There he is for an extra few points. Mr. Earp on a bicycle. Hat on the side there, because you're not going to wear a hat when you're riding along. But he has he's got a helmet on. Put a helmet on, because he's a very conscientious bloke. Yeah. And safety comes first. Pew pew. So that's what I did with him. So I could use him on a bike. And I was about to check, has old Jesse James got that as well? Jesse James has got Wrangler as well. There you go. Guess what I'm doing next? Putting him on a bike. Putting him on a bike. I have a spare, <coughs> uh, spare one of their big bikes. And I have spare Jesse James. All in plastic. All can be hacked up. That's good. That's made me very happy. I don't quite know why, so I don't use my outdoors at the moment, so I use all my good guys. Because I like playing good guys, because I hate all the nasty, the ucky, ucky, undead from the enlightened. They're not undead, they're not undead, they're constructs. They are repurposed body parts. That is a bloke, dead corpsey blokey, stuck on legs, mate. That's undead. No, he's not undead. Dead, 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 dead. Yes. He is a, he is a construct, he is, he is... So you're telling me Big Bad John isn't a corpse? He was. He is no longer a corpse. So he was dead and he's now not? Yeah, because he was reanimated. That makes him an undead. I'm an undead. Because it's John. Big bad John. Wow. Lovely paint jobs on this, Parky. Lovely paint job. Where's, where's Tarty Bollocks? She's not finished yet. But yeah, she's but there. she's fucking pretty bloody awesome. There you go. I do like yeah, her. Yeah. She's very cool. It's I love a her love pose with her kind of sassy hands on hips. Oh, are they her hips? Um, they are now. <laughs> <laughs> again, paid for. again, lovely paint job, lovely miniature. Yeah, the models are really, really nice, actually. There is, yeah, it's, they are lovely. There will be a faction you can get into, I'd almost guarantee it. If not a full faction, then at least a sub-faction. Well, there's yeah. what we've we got. We've got Outlaws, we've got Lawmen. Yes. We've got Enlightened. Yep. We've got uh, the Warrior Nation. Yep. We've got the Hex. Hex, which are the Dark Warrior Nation, aren't they? Uh, as well as as other well things. as yeah, uh, the Watchers, which are the aliens. Ooh. Yeah, six. I think that's six. 
five, six. Oh. Six. There are six. There but are six, yeah. They all subdivide, so the outlaws comprises of a whole bunch of mercenaries. A whole bunch of like, Union. general outlaws, the Confederate rebels, um a couple of different uh mini kind of sub factions as well of uh, like other mercenary units. Uh the oh Mexicans Oh Santa yeah. Santa Ana's Golden Army. Yeah. Um, so the, the, there are a lot of different outlaws. Yeah. And the Hex as well. Order. Can, order. Order, yeah. Order. Order! Uh, Hell, a pipe, please! And the Hex comprises of the Dark Nation as well as the kind of more uh, kind of sneaky ah, backstabby Hex. Ah, backstabby bastards. Um, so, yeah. And I mean, the, the, the lawmen, you've got while, while, uh, the Tombstone Gang, you've got Kind of more Bill, generic. Matt, then you've got Nate. Nate Berenger? Yeah, who, is. who goes with a load of the uh, well, uh, Warrior Nation, doesn't he? You can have a load of them. Oh, them. Uh, Bass Reeves. Bass those. Reeves, that's it, yeah. So there's lots of different factions and lots of different ways of getting those factions onto the table. So what we'll do, as I said, that'll do for this video. Um, we shall just now decide quickly how many points we're going to play for Wednesday. I think a thousand is probably. I think enough. a thousand will be a good start. One, one five is like max, but or not max. I mean, the max is as much as you want to go. But I think one one thousand five hundred is your standard size. But I think if you get a thousand, like a like a enough units that there's lots of stuff in there without it being too. And that's what we'll do. So uh, hopefully you'll join us again for that one. Would you yeah. be what the number four of this little series? It, it will it? be. So we number four, which will be, uh, I said, we'll be filming that one soon. You and that will be... come together. Yeah, how... We will explain, as I said, we'll do the little bit of the start where, right, this is my complete faction. This is why I wanted these, 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 these. He's got them, we don't care. <clears throat> and then we'll uh, play the game properly. Yeah. We'll attempt to play the game properly. And we will explain what we're doing and why we're doing it. Yes. So join us next time. Next time on this channel. Same bat time, same bat channel. It won't be the same bat time, but it will be the same bat channel. But we're not a channel about bats. Now I'm getting completely confused. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it and want to subscribe. If you don't, don't like it and don't want to subscribe, you don't have to like and subscribe, but we would like it if you liked and subscribed. And until next time, stay hammered. <laughs> 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 <laughs>